Right, we're continuing on with the main mission. Uh, I don't need to talk to him, I don't think. Uh, actually, I do need to talk to him. Small world indeed. What is it that brings you here? So I guess that means we're here for the same reason, then. After returning from the Mantide Caves, I've spent some time thinking about what happened. I had a conversation with Asterius, but didn't learn anything I didn't already know. He's more interested in the past, and I'd like to make sense of the present so that I may peek into the future. I came here to speak with the archaeologists. These are Asterius's men. They've been here for a while. They have been studying the legacy of the ancient... Well, I mean, had been until the Mantides attacked and forced them to abandon their research. What I would like to know is what exactly is luring the Mantides into these desolate halls. Perhaps it is the artifacts belonging to Eli. Remember, we saw several of them in the Mantide Caves. They're the same, just in worse condition. These artifacts have the ability to make the Immortals more powerful. If you want to know more about them, then just ask Asterius. He studied them at some point, which is no secret. If you'd like, you can also ask me. And not just about the artifacts. Okay, uh, uh, let's ask about the artifacts. Ah, those are the masterpieces that were created through magical art. In this age of technology, they are extremely hard to come by. It is too bad that their magic has faded over the years. All one needed to do was simply touch the artifact, and it would fill the immortal with great power. Well, to only those who were worthy. You know what? You should try it. Even if the artifact does not respond, think of the fact that it was touched by many heroes. Perhaps even Eli himself. It'd be like a handshake through time. Yeah, I'll give it a go. And one. We are under the impression that there were two. The first one happened before Eli's coming into existence. The consequences were dreadful. Magic had nearly disappeared from our world. The loss of magic wasn't the people's fault. Rather, Aelion itself seemed to lose its magical potential. It used to be that on the planet, magic flowed around it. It was like a rushing river, but now all that remains is a pathetic little trickle. Only the most talented individuals on Aelion can use magic these days. What used to be child's play has become a tremendous challenge, even for the most skilled adepts who have undergone a lot of training. But every dark cloud has a silver lining somewhere. And that is that magic gave way to science. The disappearance of Eli. One of the greatest shocks that Aelion has ever had to endure. Uh... We need to go. Yes, let us get to work. Okay then. So, activate the first artifact, eh? Okay. Bugs coming.
magnificent temples on Aelion. It still contains the artifacts that infused Eli's followers with incredible power. Where are we going? What are we doing? This way. the goo.
check I'm going the right way. Did I miss something? Hold on. I might have missed something. Let's go back and have a look. Uh, yeah, I can't hang about. Ah, here. sure what this does, whether it makes me a bit stronger or something, I don't know. Or more resistant. Right, tougher ones. So tough. This way. Watch out! The protection system has come alive. I don't know how that can be possible. It shouldn't be spread it out a bit too far this time. Damn it, lost some of it. That? Whoa. Oh boy, trying to get in there. Yep, screwed that up. And again, screwed up again. And screwed it up again. Never mind. Now we're good this time. Okay, let's move on. Ah, uh, wait a minute.
else? What's this? Nothing. Everybody? Yep. Uh, nothing down there. Let me just check something a minute. Right. Now I've been in here before and this thing is a nightmare. You don't, she takes almost all your health. If you don't get behind those rocks, she will literally take all your health in one go. Well, get out of the way. Lucky. What is going on? That's not good. That. <laughs> that jeez I was sweating there <laughs> we were that close to dying and we just about did it <sighs> right um, we've got to go back to the park then so yeah I really thought we were going to die then right at the end I thought I was going to have to do it all again. But, it's all good. Alright, I'm going to go to the park and see what he's got to say.
Whenever you come to the park to speak to anybody, they're always right at the other end. Yesterday, a friend of mine told me that a massive attack against the mechanoids was being planned. Can't just be like in the middle here. They gotta be all the way over there. Head all the way to the end. <laughs> Take a look who's here. Oh, cravings. It's good to see you. Alas, I must depart. We have talked for quite some time. Young immortals must be completely lost without their wise advisor. I can understand that. <laughs> well, go then. I won't keep you any longer. Farewell. Yes. Let's add up some of the facts. We have learned that the Mantides found a way to use the artifacts of allies. Yes, I am in agreement. The Mantides could not have possibly done it by themselves. But it does make you wonder who in the world could have helped them. Yes, I had that exact thought as well. It's possible Nerion could have taught them. However, there's just one little thing. Nerion is not clever enough to make sense of this technology all on his own. Even I, with my vast knowledge of the theoretical, have no idea how to put them into practice here. So that must mean that it's something else. Let's look at what else we know. The Immortals cleared the Lanver Catacombs of the Mantides, but that was hundreds of years ago. And now they are back once again. But how did they even get there? And furthermore, in such great numbers? I am in possession of some ancient geologic maps that show evidence of a system of tunnels connecting the Lanver Catacombs and these huge underground galleries. There could be millions of Mantides hiding in there. I agree, we should not do that. I will come up with a method to verify this theory. And while I am busy with that, you are welcome to follow another lead. I want you to go to Fort Creek and talk to a prisoner who is there. He is the former commander of Nerion's Templars. You can call it intuition. While Liana may trust Nerion, I myself have an uneasy feeling about him. I would ask him directly, but Iana sent him on some important mission, so Nerion won't be back in the capital for quite some time. His name is Liberius. Please come and find me once you get back from your trip. <laughs> 